What's happening, Cord Cutting Nation? Peter Von Pandy here. I just bought this, I think it's a Vansky Digital HD TV antenna. It was a pretty inexpensive one, about $22 on Amazon. Seemed to get pretty good reviews, as you can see here. Should allow me to pick up, broadcast, over the air, OTA, uh, high def channels here in the Midwest. And, you know, as you might have seen, I recently cut the cord and you do get some local channels on some of these digital streaming services but not all of them and it's kind of annoying what i've also found out is that even on the local channels sometimes if they're broadcast over the air they black out like an episode or a sports game or whatever so you kind of do need one of these i think so what we have here is a instruction booklet over the air tv antennas are like the oldest tv technology i mean it's literally coax you know, you probably haven't seen these before. Looks like we just have one very long coax cable. Uh, it's attached to the antenna, which is kind of nice. Uh, it does look like it comes with an inline amplifier here, which I guess I'll probably use because there's no reason not to, right? So I would screw this into the coax here. And then the amplifier here, at least in my estimation, needs to be powered, which is why we have a little power port on the side here. Looks like we also have a light button or a light button a little led light so this goes to the antenna and then we have uh, a coax out which is what you'd screw into the back of your tv looks like it comes with a little usb charging block and the the power cable itself it also comes with a little, little like felt sticky tabs and as you can see what's kind of surprising here at least to me is that this antenna <laughs> is like a floppy piece of plastic so I'm assuming there are wires kind of fused inside of it because it, it feels like uh, presentation bound book covers like that those those plastic covers that you put over like those spiral bound presentations. It says Vansky on the front there. Otherwise, it just seems like cheap plastic. It doesn't look high tech at all. But I'm assuming I could pull these off, get a little sticky feet under there, and stick it into a window, which is honestly what you'd probably want to do and so let's go ahead and get this plugged in um, I'm assuming and hoping that the TV I'm going to plug this in because the TV is relatively new in the last few years not last few years but newer that it has a built-in tuner to handle this we'll find out I hope I don't have to buy a separate tuner let's give it a shot so I've got the antenna it's kind of nice uh, down on this little base here there's a little sticky on the back of it so I've got uh, the two top stickies and the bottom one here holding it to this window and the nice thing is this TV is right next to this window I've got the cable run to the coax on that side and that uh, power plug in the in the amplifier once you get the antenna in, what you probably want to do is the auto channel scanning that's usually built into the TV. So I'm going to let this run here and then we'll check it out. All right, so I've got it set up here and it looks like I'm getting the high definition uh, stream over the air. Uh, I, after I went through the channel uh, auto detection mode, it uh, came right up here to channel two, I think. And as I just scroll through on um, my channel button scanning, it's kind of jumping to all the ones that are found, which is great so that you don't have to memorize any of the numbers. And uh, probably the only thing that you maybe do miss is some of that metadata about which channel you're on. You're gonna have to kind of know what they are or wait till you get a, a crawl and, and see what they are. But uh, so far this works and I will point out here that the antenna um, is facing south, which is actually what I want here in the north suburbs, but it's obviously behind another building. And so it's still working despite that. So I'm pretty impressed with it. You don't need a clear line of sight, obviously, to uh, the downtown TV uh, antennas or broadcast stations. Pretty cool. I'll put a link to the description, Peter Bump, and out.